Welcome to summertime. And what better way to enjoy this wonderful time of year than on Isle Delfino. I have no idea what that means. But I do know about Super Mario Sunshine. In fact, it's one of my favorite Mario games. Its originality, secrets, and tons of different locations really brought the game to life. Under the hood though, there's so much more than what appears in the game. So on this episode of Beta 64, I'm going to talk about the beta of Super Mario Sunshine. Super Mario Sunshine was first revealed at Space World 2001, along with The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. There are many differences between the Space World trailer and the final game. The first being Delfino Plaza, which appears to be more of a town than a plaza. The Pianta residents of Delfino Plaza are slightly different, though the biggest residential change has to be this new citizen shown for just a few split seconds. This resident appears to be a human girl, though there are no humans in Super Mario Sunshine apart from Mario and Peach. The HUD was also changed. In the bottom left is the Soul Coin counter. On the top right is the water meter, which many people thought was a thermometer that could detect real-time temperature at your location and alert you when to take breaks. Now, of course, we know it was just to show you how much water was in flood. Looks like I'll still have to keep waiting for Nintendo to create the game in weather. Perhaps the strangest object shown in the trailer is Tramplin' Stew. It's that giant trampling thing. The files for Tramplin' Stew are still in the final game, and as shown by this video, can actually be brought into gameplay. Whilst the stew tramples, a nozzle on its back spawns two different types of enemies, Swoopin' Stew and Strollin' Stew. Swoopin' Stew spawns in this striped egg, while Strollin' Stew simply appears. Some versions of Tramplin' Stew were going to wear this mask, which when damaged would split in half. To defeat the enemy, players have to fill it with water until its outer shell pops. Then all you have to do is stomp on its eye. And what reward do you get for all of your troubles? Why a nice one coin. Woo. Sadly, the model doesn't display properly, perhaps because it was made early in the GameCube's development. I've put a render of the broken model through an image editor and created this, which shows what the model might have looked like had it been displayed properly. Super Mario Sunshine was shown again at E3 2002. This version looks almost the same as the final, but still has some differences such as the last revision of the life meter. Another difference is Flood. This version of Flood is much thinner and has a different body than the final version. Some say there was going to be a water gun attachment, but I couldn't find any concrete evidence to prove it. The change to the final seems to have taken place roughly at the time of E3 2002. Gooper Blooper went through a few changes as well. Originally, it was going to be dark blue, but was later changed to white, most likely to match the color of regular bloopers. Gooper Blooper was also going to fight on the bridges of Rico Harbor, instead of the market in Helipad. Brown pokies with white flowers are shown in the trailer, though they do not appear in the final game. The beta boos lack the tongue and fangs from the final, and the Super Mario Sunshine logo is also slightly different from the final version. In some screenshots of the E3 version, giant seemingly flying piranha plant heads are visible. Though if you watch the trailer closely, you'll notice the same heads are shown bouncing. Most likely when the image was taken, the heads were in mid-air ready to fall, and thus mistaken for flying. Super Mario Sunshine has a boatload of unused content, the first being a soccer ball and goal. These objects were changed to fruits and baskets in the final game. Another unused object is Kug, a paper-thin model of a Goomba. Kug was used as an early test enemy, but he can be seen in the final game, just not easily. Kug is under the ground below the clam ride in episode 8 of Pina Park. Using an action replay moon jump code, you can fly high enough to go through the top of the mountains and walk over to Kug. Though because of its location, it's hard to get a good look at it. Here's a screenshot of the best view of Kug underground. Trying to jump on it electrocutes Mario. This very strange unused object is called a Yoshi Egg Generator. There are two kinds of egg generators, Jenny Egg Model 1 and Bad Jenny Egg Model 1. They both use the same animation, Jenny Egg Appear 1, shown here. 
This last unused object is of three black manta rays, which are based off the Phantom Manta boss at Serena Beach. The files for this object are found with the files of Pina Park. That, coupled with the fact that there is only one animation, could mean that these were going to be purely for decoration. Some objects in Super Mario Sunshine are more than what meets the eye, such as Il Piantissimo. Even though he never takes off his mask in the game, he still has a face underneath. Even more interesting, it seems to resemble the Running Man's face from Ocarina of Time. Stew generators also have some interesting unused features. The generators were originally going to be animated. This first animation frame is the one used in the game. This second frame is for when it gets hurt. This frame is for after the generator gets hurt. And this last frame is for when it dies. In the final game though, the stew generator just disappears after it's sprayed. Another unused feature is a hidden book behind a door in Noki Bay's Red Coins in a Bottle episode. This book cannot be grabbed, however, because the door blocks the way to it. In the beta, Mario was supposed to collect a book instead of eight red coins. This hidden book may be the one meant to be collected. Even the option menu joined the unused feature party. Just off the screen of the option menu is a pier. It is very low quality compared to the rest of the menu, meaning it was most likely scrapped before it could even be finished. There are some unused audio tracks and sound effects in Super Mario Sunshine as well. Please, take a listen. That audio track is internally called MSD STR Space World which is an appropriate title as it is used in the Space World 2001 trailer. This next song is the Noki Bay theme with a drum track for when you ride Yoshi, even though Yoshi isn't in Noki Bay. This last unused audio track is Mario saying Ciao. According to where the file is located, this was meant to be played when the game was booted up and not to be a normal voice clip. Now let's look at some unused graphics. These two pairs of sunglasses are found in the files for the option menu. The first is split into the frame and lenses and was meant to be worn by a pianta. The second pair was meant to be used in the options menu, perhaps to toggle whether Mario is wearing sunglasses. Another unused graphic is a level banner for Corona Mountain which goes unused because the location doesn't have an episode select screen. This next unused graphic is a very early label for the HUD. It was meant to be put underneath the flood water tank meter, but was replaced with the text water. The label was most likely used between Space World 2001 and E3 2002, as the final water text was used in the E3 trailer, but no text was used in Space World. There is also an unused graphic that says Nintendo GameCube on it most likely meant to be a placeholder for the Nintendo logo shown when the game starts up. Speaking of game startup, the images of an early placeholder title screen are still located in the game's files. These images include a push start text, a silhouette of Mario's face, and a messed up shadow of a placeholder logo. Also hidden inside Super Mario Sunshine's files are a few screenshots from various stages of development. This one shows Mario fighting the Ely Mouth in Noki City. The screenshot looks to have been taken almost near the final version of the game, because Noki City lacks the fog and darker lighting in the final, but has the final HUD design. The image is used as a texture for the water in Bowser's bathtub. This other screenshot is perhaps the oldest. The skinny design of Flood from the Space World video is shown, as well as the earliest design of Bloopers and Rico Harbor. The sky model in the screenshot is also an early version. Interestingly, the file for the sky model is also with the test maps files. Super Mario Sunshine's test map is called Test 11. According to a file in the game called stagearc.bin, there were originally 20 test maps, scale 0 through scale 9, and test 11 through test 19. The only one that wasn't deleted was test 11, but not in the Japanese version. In that version, all the test maps were deleted. 
The only reason we have this one test map is because the localization team for other countries added it back and never deleted it. Well, what's in it? Nothing much really. It has the basic test room needs. Random fire. Random doors. Random people. The norm. Some more interesting stuff includes the unused soccer ball and trampoline stew without its outer shell. Super Mario Sunshine uses images to keep track of goop on a stage. Some stages have unused goop maps, and developers used a few of them to do some doodling and leave notes. Let's take a look at some of them. These two unused goop maps were used for the test map. The top one seems to show a doodle of trampoline stew and a running... Moai head. The bottom map seems to be a poorly drawn silhouette of Kug. This next goop map is for the beta of Bianco Hills. I don't think it needs an explanation. This map is for the underwater Noki City. The Japanese text reads stupid, which makes sense. Why have goop that can be washed away with water underwater? The unused goop map for Serena Beach looks exactly like the unused Kug object. Coincidence? I think not. This last goop map was for Corona Mountain, though no goop is found in the area. The goop map and accompanying model are very primitive, so it was most likely a copy of one of the removed test maps. There's also some placeholder text still in the game's files, one of which is part of the lyrics to the song I Wanna Be Loved By You, released in 1928. Another two are a single line from the 1961 song Stand By Me. This last placeholder text says, Good morning, hello. Good morning, hello. Good morning, hello. Well, a good morning to you too. While all these unused and beta stuff are cool, none of it can compare to Super Mario Sunshine's greatest scrapped object, the Delfino Express. The Delfino Express was a railway system that spanned Isle Delfino and surrounding areas. These areas included Delfino Plaza, Rico Harbor, Bianco Hills, Gelato Beach, Serena Beach, Hotel Delfino, Pina Park, Noki Bay, Pianta Village, and Corona Mountain. Some of these stations didn't make it into the final game. These stations include Battleship Island, Flame Temple, Lighthouse Island, Hotel La Crema, which translates into Hotel Tier, and Air Toe Rock which translated means steep rock. What's interesting is that in the final game, Pina Park is an island. The only way Mario could possibly reach the island on a train is that there was a bridge connecting them, Pina Park was not always an island, or that the express was a subway. To use the Delfino Express, Mario would go up to the station, show his ticket for an area, and have the choice to buy a collectible travel stamp for soul coins. That's a hint to when the Delfino Express was scrapped. Soul coins were shown in the Space World 2001 trailer, but was replaced by regular coins from E3 2002 to the final game. So the railway must have been scrapped sometime before E3 2002. So that's the beta of Super Mario Sunshine. Though the amount of unused objects is huge, the changes between the beta and the final are relatively small, which is probably a good thing. It might have been cool to ride a train to other locations, but I feel that the different, sometimes secretive ways to get around is still a fun time. So if you want to learn more about the Delfino Express, or listen to the full audio tracks, click the link in the description. So this has been Beta64 with the Super Mario Sunshine Beta. Thanks for watching. Ciao. It's summertime, nothing. It's eleven in the summertime. It's summertime, nothing.